It was a misty, moonlit night. The island of Sodor had just had several storms sweep across their island, and Edward and James were helping the workmen clear bushes and trees that had fallen on the line. Right, oh Edward, we'll take this lot away once James and Jack get back. Oh, Terry, where are they exactly? I sent them to go look for old Jim. They should be back soon. Meanwhile, here, look, old boy. There's no sign of them. Let's get back before we get lost. All right. <laughs> eh? What was that? Shh. Get back. Like you, I thought I was safe. Like you, I thought a long and useful life lay before me. And like you, I was wrong. They betrayed me. They exiled me. And then they were going to scrap me. But was that enough? No! They made me do their bidding and be their slave. They tell my story year after year, but no one truly knows the truth about it. They paint me as a monster, as the angel of death, as if I would willingly do such a horrible act. Thinking of it now, why do they have to torture me with the memories of my past? Why can't they just let me move on? No. Ugh. Well, if they want to, fine. They'll get their angel of death, and so will you. No one shall escape me. Are you strong? Come on, James. Tell me, dearie, what brings you to my cemetery? Oh! D -d Driver! Get me out of here! I can't! Your brakes won't come off! You're mine, you silly engine. <laughs> James, I found Jim at... James? What in the world happened? I did... I did... I don't think you would... Believe me if I ah! Edward. And every year on the date of the accident, it runs again, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul.